Emily Mariko is a name you might remember that went viral back in 2021 when she kept posting videos making a salmon bowl. Everyone was obsessed with her at the time and she gained millions of followers in only a short amount of time. Today, she has 12.7 million followers on TikTok and yes, she still does make her salmon bowl. Now, the reason why we're talking about her is because people are shocked by the prices of these tote bags that she recently revealed she was selling on this new website that she had created. It's the first product Product that she's released and they are $120. Yes, you heard me correct. These tote bags are individually $120 each. Hi, so tomorrow my farmer's market totes will be available at 12 p.m. PST on my site, Emily Mariko. So tomorrow, January 29th, you'll be able to go to the link in my bio and click in to shop. And I'm so excited and I hope you guys love them. There's been a ton of conversations surrounding this whole thing and it has a lot of people really angry and it also has people really upset at those who are mad at her for these prices, defending her and the decision to price it this way. So here's what I've heard people say. People are obviously shocked. I mean, $120 for a tote bag is not something that you see every day. And the reactions on TikTok certainly were at first pushing back on Emily thought process to sell such a thing. Emily Mariko must have gotten the inspiration for her extra large canvas tote bag that dropped today whenever she was carrying something similar that was large enough to fit all of her audacity delusion in farmer's market strawberries. This is the tote. It's an Ikea, it's an Ikea size tote bag. $120. Ma'am. Is this is like a social experiment because this is rude. This is so insulting, like $120. For reference, you can order an extra large tote bag on Alibaba. Some of them even have a minimum order of just one piece for literally a couple dollars by all things said and done. Look, I love Emily Mariko, but in this economy, I don't think anyone could afford her farmer's market tote bag for $120 when something similar is at Trader Joe's for $5. Let's be for real. To those who felt like this was ridiculous pricing for such a product and, you know, there's nothing special being offered here and are confused as to why a tote bag you could find for $5 somewhere like Amazon would be priced so high, some have said that this is because she is trying to cater to a luxury market. Emily shares glimpses of her personal life occasionally and people can see that she is well off and her family is well off. And tons of people were referring to the wedding style as as a form of quiet luxury. She also took almost two months off of social media to go on her honeymoon where they spent almost two months traveling around Italy. It's clear that she's living this life of luxury to an extent and it's seen in her content that she is living to a degree of luxury and that she is buying fresh produce from the farmer's market. She's buying expensive butters and dishware. And it seems like she's trying to offer her audience that same quality of luxury that she's bringing into her home. And so some people have defended Emily by saying that if you don't want to buy her $120 tote, you probably are not the audience that she's trying to target and that she's trying to target people that are just like her that have $120 to spare on a tote bag. I'm here to chime in about the Emily Mariko tote because so many people were like sending this and they were like, oh my God, like blah, 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 $100, $20 for this tote. And I'm like, y'all, Emily Mariko is a rich girl, okay? Like she's an OG rich girl. You can tell, like we've seen her apartment. We've seen all the stuff that she wears. We saw her engagement ring. We saw her wedding. Like we've seen her house. We've seen her parents' house. Like she's a rich girl. And one thing about rich girls, they're gonna rich girl. And her following is also a bunch of basic rich girls. So to them, $120 for a tote is basically $12. And it's quintessential and they need it. It's the same thing as like Air One. They have a tote on the Air One website that I think is like $200. It just is like, and they're like, it's so simple in the most simple fabrics, but it's like that it makes the most sense for Emily Mariko. Like she's a simple, boring, basic rich girl. And it's okay, and that's her brand and her aesthetic. And it clear, apparently it's working. They're both sold out. 
Now I still think that $120 is crazy for a tote bag and it really better be the best quality tote bag some of these people have ever purchased. But like that girl mentioned, Emily clearly knew what she was doing here because she did sell out. People did buy them, both of them. In that TikTok I showed you guys, the girl compared the desire to buy Emily's simple tote bag to people wanting to buy the Air One tote bag that they offer for $138 at their stores. And if you guys aren't familiar with Air One, it's an extremely overpriced grocery store that has gotten pretty popular recently because of the fact that people can't believe how expensive things are in their stores. But there's also still a desire for people to go there. And even something as simple as a tote bag being over price there, people still see a value in purchasing it. Maybe it's so other people will think that you have that kind of money to throw around, but there are people that are out there that are willing to buy these overpriced items. And like I just said, maybe it has something to do with people being like, wow, they have an Air One bag. They must be rich and like loving that feeling of other people thinking that you might have money because you spent money on this expensive bag. But I mean, in Emily's case, like it doesn't even say her name on it, but I guess, you know, it's like a, if you know, you know thing. If you see this super large bag on this girl at the farmer's market, you might be like, oh my God, she had $120 to buy Emily Rico's bag. Like maybe that is the appeal here. I don't know, but I still think it's crazy. I did see people comment on TikTok saying in response to those saying, you know, if you don't like the price, she didn't make that for you, saying that they have that kind of money and would never spend it on something like that, which reminded me of the fact that one time Trisha Paytas, who we all know has a lot of money, she went to Air One and bought a tote bag, not thinking that it would be so expensive until like they rang it up and she paid. And she was looking at the receipt and saw that this tote bag was as expensive as it was. And she thought it was crazy. I never think twice about buying these bags i'm like you know what i like to you know save the planet whatever you know what we're doing right now with the plastic this is the bag that was 170 dollars. this could have been like a literal michael kors bag i mean it's definitely cute <laughs> i definitely bought a bag there before that's like 40 bucks i don't know how this is 100 and what was it, 135 it's cute but it's a canvas bag that says Air One. Oh my God. What are we doing in this world that we're that we're just okay with these prices, that we're just buying these? And the, the popcorn in question is skinny pop popcorn. And I mean, Trisha buys luxury goods. She spends a lot of money and is super open about it. And so for her to say that a tote bag over $100 is expensive definitely means that it is expensive. Maybe not to the quiet luxury aesthetic, but who knows now some have also tried to defend the pricing mentioning that the reason they might have been so expensive is because she might have only bought a small amount of them to sell and noted that she also had them made in california which is going to cost more than having something made overseas if you look here aside from it being 100 percent cotton it is made in california usa most likely los angeles as someone who owns a clothing brand myself and has produced items in Los Angeles in small batches. And I think Air One and Emily Marico both do this where it is in small limited batches. It is at a higher price point because the labor in Los Angeles is expensive. When you buy things wholesale and you buy them in smaller batches, the price tends to go up for us selling them. For me as a small business owner, I do it in small batches because I know for a fact that there aren't going to be a lot of people running to buy my expensive sweatshirt for example my sweatshirt is at 75 dollars, and that's just for me to break even that's not me making money emily and mariko and erwan who have a larger audience that can support them will price it at 120 so they could make profit $120 is just a lot to me, but clearly not to the people who sold it out. I see how and why she might have priced it as such, but it truly just is such a crazy concept. It does only seem like the beginning for her though, as this was the launch of her website and these are just the first products that she is putting out there. So everyone else better buckle up for what is about to be sold on this website. I could see ceramics or tea towels coming soon and probably for $100 or at least starting at $100. I could see her goal also being to have a website like Jenny Kane or Studio McGee or even Magnolia, where we're talking about some really simple decor items for your home that is probably available for half the price at a Home Goods or a Marshalls, but to some people, this feels special and curated, like luxury buying it from one of these websites. But 
I feel like we'll just have to see how things go for her. I want to know all of your thoughts on this in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the prices of these totes and the fact that this has been such a hot topic this week. But I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.